All right, here we are, folks, in Birmingham, Alabama. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Check this out. Why would men build something so crazy and support it and then walk up to it? Ain't that funny? Well, it's funny there's a trail here to walk up to it. And look at this. The actual road is falling in. Look at that. I think they'd get something from that, huh? Look at this. Mm-hmm. Yep. Amazing. Don't know why something like that would happen. <laughs> Don't know why. Something like that would happen. Okay. Proclaim the name of Yahweh, especially on today. So today we are proclaiming Yahweh because it is what? The Feast of Trumpets.
And the Kohen shall wave them besides the bread of the first fruits as a wave offering before Yahweh, beside the two lambs. They are Kadosh to Yahweh for the Kohen. On the same day you shall proclaim a Kodosh gathering for yourselves. You do no several work on it. Law forever in all your dwellings throughout your generations. And when you reap the harvest of your land, do not completely reap the corners of your field when you reap, and do not gather any gleaning from your harvest. Leave them for the poor and for the stranger. I am Yahweh your Elohim. And speak to Moshe, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, In the seventh month, on the first day of the month, you shall have a rest, a remembrance of blowing of trumpets, a kodosh gathering. You do no servile work, and you shall bring an offering made by fire to Yahweh. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, On the tenth day of this month is Yom Ham Kippur. It shall be a kodosh gathering for you, and you shall afflict your beings, and shall bring an offering made by fire to Yahweh. So what are we doing? reading because it says to read publicly for all those who are supposed to hear the word of Yahweh because if we don't preach it if we don't read it then what happens nobody gets to hear it right so we have to read the scriptures it's not as easy as what everybody seems it out to be right it's a works I know everybody goes against that, but it's actually what we're doing. It's what he tells us to do, right? He tells us to go and do these things. And as you can see, here comes the clouds. So maybe our little buddy up there will get struck with lightning <laughs> and fall down here. And wouldn't that be a day to praise Yahweh? Yes, it would. Because the in scriptures it says what? Arise, O Yahweh, and knock all these things down. But he also tells us to do what? Not to rise them up. Not to go to places. So, why would we have a 35-ton half-naked guy with an arrow pointing up? Who does he think? Who do you think that arrow is for? What do you think that's really about? And it's called Vulcan. wonder what that means in Hebrew. So, we got to go out and tell these people because they're coming here and looking at these things and making idols and doing the things that he said not to do. And it just doesn't even bother them when the earth is falling in on them. They just put cones up. Yeah, just put cones up. That'll solve that problem. So is it any wonder that Yahweh says what? When it's all said and done, all the high places are going to be brought low. And if you look, almost all these high places are what? Statues, art, arches, all these pagandry things that don't belong there. That's what? For sending themselves between us and Yahweh, if you will. So, when the great earthquakes come and all these things happen, that thing probably been struck by lightning until how many times being up there like that. So, shalom.